All right, so we have our book of the day today and our book is titled Fireboat. Yesterday, you guys heard the story of the man who walked between the towers. And today we're gonna take that story a little further and we're gonna read a little bit more about those towers. So this story is called Fireboat, The Heroic Adventures of the John J. Harvey by Maria Kalman. This is published by Puffin Books. New York City, 1931. Amazing things were happening, big and small. The Empire State Building went up, up, up. Babe Ruth hit his 611th home run in Yankee Stadium. The tasty candy treat, Snickers, hit the stores. The George Washington Bridge was suspended elegantly across the mighty Hudson River. Champion Pendley Calling of Blarney won best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club. On a hot and jazzy night, the word hacha was invented. And that's just kind of a word that when people were dancing and having a good time, they kind of said hacha. You might see it in movies where they show like the old times. On a sunny, fresh day, the John J. Harvey fireboat was launched. There were 12 fireboats in New York City. The Harvey was the largest, fastest, and shiniest fireboat of them all. It had five diesel engines, so it can go 20 miles per hour. That was pretty fast. Eight pipes that could shoot 16,000 gallons of water per minute, equal to 20 fire trucks. A completely round steering wheel, many brass nozzles housed in the gold room, a control dial in the pilot's cabin, a very nice can to oil all squeaks, ropes called lines, and lots of levers, buttons, and buckets. There was a pilot and a crew ready in two minutes to fight the fires. They were a brave group. And there was a dog named Smokey, who did not put out fires, but he had many nice spots. The Harvey went up and down the river fighting fires. It fought fires, at the bustling piers. The piers were places where ships and trains brought all manner of merchandise to be sold in the city, like wood, cotton, and bananas and bubble gum and everything. So a long time ago, to get things from one place to another, a lot of places depended on boats. And here you can see the boats were coming to the pier. The pier is where the boats kind of park and that's just kind of where there's a lot of businesses close to the water. Usually there's like grocery stores or things that people trade and buy. It fought the fire of the great ocean liner Normandy. Sometimes the Harvey just went out to shoot water in celebration. Many years passed, a new captain had come on board, Bob Lunny. He and his crew fought many fires, but New York was changing. The Twin Towers were now the tallest buildings in New York City and piers were closing. 1995. The city no longer needed so many fireboats. The Harvey was considered old and useless. It sat in the water for five years waiting to be sold for scrap. And then a very surprising thing happened. A group of friends were eating at a restaurant called Florent. They had heard something about the fireboat and decided something. Let's save the Harvey. Let's fire. Everyone needs a fireboat. We won't put out fires. We'll just have fun. And they did. They took it to the cattle ship repair yard in Staten Island. Even there, they said, she is old. It'll be hard to fix her. But the owner said, fix. So they fixed it beautifully. They repaired the two propellers, making them new with a shiny coat of brass. Brass does not rust. They repaired the holes with steel plates. They covered the places where the rivers wept. They scraped barnacles and seaweed off the hull and painted her with a shiny coat of red paint. And once again, the Harvey was on the water. Tim, the engineer, kept things running smoothly. Jessica, the assistant engineer, at the controls in the noisy engine room, Andrew welding, Chase helping, John fixing, Tom cooking, Huntley at the wheel, 
and Bob Lenny watching over everyone and being very proud. This is showing the group of friends that purchased the boat and now they're just on the boat. They fixed it up and they're having fun. They made friends with the only other fire boats on the river, the firefighter and the McKean. Toot, 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 toot. A boat says hello with four toots. Everyone said the Harvey is a nice old boat, but she can never be used to fight a fire. Never. But then on September 11th, 2001, something so huge and horrible happened that the whole world shook. It was 8.45 in the morning, another beautiful and sunny day. Two airplanes crashed into the Twin Towers, crashed, crashed, crashed into these two strong buildings. The sky filled with fire and smoke. The buildings exploded and fell down to the ground and many people were hurt. Many lives were lost. The news spread. The city had been attacked. Everyone was terrified. The people were brave. The entire city sprang into action. Firefighters and police officers and doctors and construction workers and teachers and cooks and children and parents. The mayor was strong. He said, we will all work together. We will not be broken. What were the people of the Harvey doing when the planes hit? Bob Lenny was trimming hedges. Tom was drinking tea in his kitchen. Chase was walking his dog radar. Tim was reading the paper. Jessica was writing a story. John was working. Huntley was reading David Copperfield. The Harvey was snoozing at the pier. They all had one thought, get to the Harvey, and they did. They called the fire department. John J. Harvey, ready to help. How can we help? The answer came. You can't help fight the fire, but you can ferry people to safety. But suddenly an urgent message came loud and clear. John J. Harvey, where are you? We need you. We need you. The water pipes were broken and buried and the fire trucks that had raced to the scene could not pump water. The firefighters attached hoses to the Harvey. The Harvey fought the fires alongside the McKean and the firefighter. For four days and nights, the Harvey pumped water. The crew took turns sleeping. People brought supplies, fuel, sweaters, gloves, pizza, sandwiches, and coffee. They worked and cried. They fought the fire until it was under control. Finally, it was time for the Harvey to go home. Everyone on the boat had never seen anything so terrible and they had never felt so proud. The Harvey was a hero and everyone knew it. The Harvey won an important award, National Preservation Award, the John J. Harvey, for capping a distinguished career of service by coming out of retirement to provide invaluable aid in New York City's hour of need, October 18th, 2001. At the ceremony, the audience cheered and some even cried. Now the Twin Towers are gone, something new will be built. The heroes who died will be remembered forever. The Harvey is back to being a very happy boat, not scrapped, not useless, not forgotten. A proud and plucky friend, and all that's left to say is, Hacha, and thank you. Wait a minute, there's something more to say. The friends of the Harvey have found a little tugboat to adopt. Doesn't everyone need a tugboat? And that is the end. Uh, an amazing story, and this was kind of an important day in American history, a scary day. I was alive when this happened, so you know, I remember it very clearly, but um, one thing that I remember is the heroes, and that's kind of what we got to focus on. And the John J. Harvey is a boat, and it definitely was a hero. Um, I was lucky enough to go to New York City last year, and uh, I wanted to visit the John J. Harvey, but they had closed it. But 
if you're ever in New York, you can actually go and visit it because it's kind of a museum now. And because it got this award that I was talking about on this page, the, preser the Preservation Award, it will never be destroyed. At first, remember they wanted to take it apart and sell the metal and stuff like that, but then those friends bought it. So had they never done that, the fireboat would have never been able to help all those people. So the people who own the fireboat and the fireboat itself was actually a great help when people needed it. Because um, keep in mind with when the buildings came down, uh, the fire trucks weren't able to get through traffic and they couldn't even get through to um, do their jobs. So the fireboat had to come on the water to fight the fire from right there. So anyways, really important day in history and um, I'm gonna go ahead and share a picture, some pictures with you um, of my trip when I went. Um, on one of the pages, it says that something new will be built. And one thing that was built was a memorial to remember all the people who passed away. And um, I have some pictures of that memorial that I'll go ahead and share right here. And um, those are my kids right here and we're reading the names of the people that passed away. And then you can see that where the building once stood, now they have fountains and they're actually really quite beautiful. They did a great job. Instead of two towers, they didn't wanna do that again. So they built one higher building and it's called the One World Trade Center now instead of the Twin Towers. And um, if you ever get a chance, go ahead and go check it out. So anyways, a uh, very sad day in history. We're going to talk about this a little bit more tomorrow, and that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.